Hey guys, John here, and welcome to GS Techie. So, last video, I went over the Logitech C615 as a cheap HD webcam, and I told you in that video that there was a better solution, and what you're seeing right now is that solution so basically what you have to do well you do need an Android phone for this um, I know there's a lot of people who are iPhone snobs there is a way to use an iPhone to get a similar result but I'm not gonna go over that there are other videos for that uh, and I don't even have an iPhone to kind of show you so basically what I am doing here is I am using a program called like scripty or scrapty anyways um it's pretty it's pretty useful hold on let me show it it's s c r c p y it's a basically what it does it's a screen mirroring app that you have to enable usb debugging for so what i have done is i have enabled usb debugging in my android phone it's an lg g8x and Q. Uh, you can do this on any Android phone. Um, what you do is you go into settings and under build number I believe you just tap it eight times and then it gives you a pop-up saying you're about to enable debugging mode. You hit yes. Go into debugging mode and then you need to allow USB debugging and then you need to set the USB connection to PTP which is a picture sharing anyways. And Then you can Google the, the uh, program and download it for your PC and basically what that allows you to do is you can connect your phone to your computer over USB and you can basically record your screen. Now how I've done this to get a clean video out is I've downloaded the app called Open Camera and have basically just like disabled all the GUI to just the on-screen stuff. Uh, so if you actually see if I hover over here I touch uh, actually most of it's edited out but you can kind of see there's like an icon over here and over here and you can see my mouse scrolling across it so yeah so it's very easy to do and it doesn't even have to be a modern smartphone uh, I tried it with my Honor 6X this phone is at least three years old they don't even allow them to sell that phone this phone in America anymore and they're not allowed to use Google surfaces or anything so and it's over micro USB so it does still work uh, actually I will go over that I will actually set it up right now but briefly before I do that I'm gonna kind of go over uh, this quality is it's 4k um, obviously it's as high quality as it lets it be uh, this screen capture is um, I believe it's 1440p or 1080 or it's like 21 and something by 1440 Anyways, it's it's as high quality as it can get uh, capture, and um, I think the quality is just much better than the Logitech. Uh, there's not much lag at all. Um, if there is any, I can't see it in my OBS. Uh, maybe if I'm watching it, I can see it then, and I'll kind of throw it in there, but right now, this is a much better solution, and you already have a modern smartphone, 90 times out of 10 and if you don't you can still probably purchase an older model phone with a better camera for cheaper the only issues that this could have is maybe if you get a text message or a phone call while you're streaming or something that could really mess up your recording um, or your stream uh, you could obviously use an extra phone like I have like three phones that I don't really use because they're old and they're not worth selling uh, and they have some stuff on them and they just they're just lying around so this could actually repurpose a lot of your old tech as like something you can do because this could be a very nice uh, webcam uh, you could put it in the corner and it's high quality it's a very nice much better camera than a C920 I believe the only issues I could see you having is finding a good place to mount it um, I had to go out and buy a phone holder for a tripod, and my tripod's not really the best. Um, it's pretty short, 
and I have to sit on my desk. So that doesn't give me much room. So the field of angle, like I could turn on my wide angle lens here. Actually, if you see here, so this, nope, this one. See, this this is my wide angle lens. Uh, it's The quality is much lower on this one. Um, let me turn that off. But it is a wide angle. It gives you a nice field of view. Um, you still have, you know, good lighting. Uh, there are some flickering going across the screen. I don't know what that's about. You do see the mic. Um, so we can kind of get that out of the way. Uh, the only issue is you cannot use your phone's microphone to record this way, so you do need an external mic. I should probably really uh, go over that. You will need an external mic. Uh, I I suggest like a cheap lav mic. You can get a lavalier mic for like five bucks or something, or you could get a snowball or uh, a cheap USB mic. I know Fi Fine they make good USB mics. You could go the XLR route, but you do need phantom power with XLR so that's maybe not the best solution uh, ignore the the lights I'm gonna do this like nifty thing they're like orange and purple it's Halloween but uh, the purple is just too dim and the orange is too bright so it doesn't look right and it doesn't show up as well um, on video as I was hoping it would when I bought them but you know that's sort of just random and not relevant so I'm actually gonna throw in the old phone to kinda show you what that looks like just cause and then I'll probably pull up like where you could download the program. So just one second, bear with me. And this is what the camera on the Honor 6X looks like. Now obviously there is a noticeable drop in quality. This is a much older phone. Um, I don't know if I would say that this one is better than the Logitech uh, webcam, but uh, I think I think, I mean, it's basically, it's free though. I've had it lying around the house. Um, I, there's some more tweaking I could probably do to get a little bit of a better image quality out of this camera. Uh, this is a third party camera app, but it is the only way I know how to get sort of a clean HDMI out. And obviously I had to blow up the image quite a bit in OBS to, um, to make it fill up the screen. Uh, so it does lo lose a little bit of the clarity there. This is only 1080p screen, um, but I still think this has some merits to it. Now, I know with some smartphones nowadays, you may be able to use an HDMI and a capture card to screen cap, uh, to capture your screen, but um, uh, uh, I don't, have a USB-C to HDMI cable or anything and I found that this was really interesting I did not see a whole lot of ways for uh, people to go about it now I will kind of this is a <clears throat> like this is my old phone so there's not a whole lot here Ooh, wow that really changed the lighting hold on but just to show you that this is a way to screen capture like yes and there's there's not much here but uh, phone but you can use this to actually capture mobile footage for games and stuff if you don't have the app available for you um, so like let's look at the normal camera app real quick oh how do I, how do I swap this oh there it is yeah so this is this would need to be hold on let me just Oh, oh, wrong way, wrong way. Bear with me. Bear with me. And this is what the uh, camera app looks like. Uh, with so this is just the uh, stock camera app for the phone. And it's it's basically the same. Anyways, let's just let's just end this part and let's get into how to get the program, huh? All right, and finally, real quick, I'm just gonna briefly show you where you can download the program that I'm using to do this. Now, uh, obviously, you have to go to GitHub. It's S C R P. Oh wait, I'm sorry, S C R C P Y. It's like screen copy. Um, this is uh, basically what I did. I just um, yeah, we just download this version and. Uh, it works it just works you know and it's 
really simple to do. All you have to do is enable all the things I already went over in the phone, open the program, and then boom, it's like right there. It automatically detects your phone. It automatically pulls up the screen for you. It's, it's super simple, and I think this is a solution that not a lot of people talk about, and I think it's definitely one that we could be looked into more. Now, it's not... It's not the highest quality, but look, I'm looking at it right now, and this little preview, I did have to do some cropping in OBS. It's actually, it was really tricky to find out how to do that, but it it looks it looks really good right here in the corner of the screen. So I mean, you know, take it as you will. Um, I think it's a pretty interesting solution, especially with all the distance learning going on. Um, you know, I. Dude, I'm kind of blown away right now. I'm really happy that I discovered this, and I'm really even more excited that I get to share it with you guys. So if you appreciate what I'm doing here, definitely leave a like, leave a comment down below. Uh, subscribe if you're feeling generous. Thank you guys, and have a great day. Bye.